Then ask your name where you came from and your testimony. My name is Hamkoto Lodika, I'm from Ondeshifirwa. I came here to share my testimony through the man of God, Apostle Shombe. I have two testimonies. I was here in 2020 at the end of November. Therefore, I was having a job, but I wanted a new job. I came here on Saturday and I went to get a prayer post at the clinic. And I was prayed for by the man of God, Apostle Shombe. When he prayed for me, I kept working at my old job. From there on, after he prayed for me, I just suddenly decided that I will quit my job. That I resigned from my job and the whole December I was jobless. And the so I always used to take my CVs and bring them along for prayers from the men of God, Apostle Shombe. And I always uh, send my CVs out here and there. But I always had the courage that I will receive a new job. More 2021. Um, it was in March at the end. A former colleague of mine who resigned from that workplace where I used to work called me. Uh, they called me, asked me where I was, and I was at home working in the mango fields. And she told me that we need someone to work at Okalongo. Only to work for one day and knocking off at five o'clock. I did not hesitate. I stopped working in the Marango field. I cleaned myself up. I took a taxi immediately and went to Okalongo. And she asked if I have transport money and luckily I did have. And she said that she will refund me for the transport money that I'm using and then they will also remunerate me extra. Because the person who permanently works on that post was not around that day, I went to work for that day as a casual worker. So five o'clock, I was given the money that they promised to give me and they also refunded my transport money and gave me money to go back home as well. And uh, luckily that day, the man that we was we were working with on that day was also on his Okay, my sister, without wasting time, tell us what happened. Uh, uh, she told me to tell her when I arrive at home, I should call her when I arrive at home, which I did. My sister, you say the man of God prayed for the CVs. Yes. Did you get job or you didn't get job? Are you currently working or not? Clap your hands beautifully for Jesus Christ. She's saying that 
uh, she got a job eventually, but that job she didn't get it through the CVs that she's been sending out. She just she just received a call from someone that she got a job. This is the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said, You must seek the first the kingdom of God. Then all shall be added unto him. Clap your hands beautifully for Jesus Christ. She said that she got a job and she likes the job that she got and she even got the salary that she was hoping for. She said to hear the second testimony on 20th of November, she came here with a tumor on her breast, on her left side. The man of God, Apostle Shombe, prayed for me. After praying for me, he said I should check my breast. Clap your hands beautifully for Jesus Christ. He said after checking my breast, the lamp has disappeared until today there is no tumor in my breast. What word of encouragement are you to us this morning? I said that there is Clap your hands beautifully for Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our sister is motivating us that if we are having trouble, we should not seek help elsewhere. Like in which doctors, we should go to a living church, such as the Church of Apostle Shombe. And she believes that if you are here and you are unable to walk, if you truly believe the anointing will work for you, you will go back home walking. I want of encouragement to you. Your healing is in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep coming to Jesus Christ. You are blessed and rejoice always in the Lord. Hallelujah.